Hey, hey, I'm Siobhan, community cultivator and founder of Be Free Project. The Be Free Project podcast was created for community, sisterhood, and personal growth. Each week, you'll be inspired and motivated to do the work to show up for yourself so you too can feel fulfilled and be free. Now grab a pen and a notebook and let's get into the show. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the podcast. This week, I am loving Natalie Lauren's album called Handle With Care. Y'all, this particular album has been on constant repeat from the moment I learned about it. I want to say maybe a month or two ago, and it feels like a warm embrace. It feels like self-care all in a hug. I don't know. It just feels really, really good to listen to. One of my favorite songs on the album is called Happy Tears. And then there's another song called God Morning. Seriously, every single song feels so good to my soul. I've been sharing it with everyone from my friends to the members in the Be Free Inner Circle. Like, y'all, y'all got to listen to this album. So I'll link to it in the show notes. Again, I love it. Um, And go follow her on Instagram too. She's a creative, so she has a lot of cool things going on from hair products to creating art to creating music. And I just think she's really dope. And if you follow her, let her know I sent you over. All right. So today I want to talk about six ways to have more gratitude each day. And it's perfect timing since Thanksgiving is tomorrow. I really want us to be in a space of gratitude and being thankful for everything. And so the first thing that I want to talk about is number one, appreciate every single thing in your life. And I do mean everything from big things to small things. I want you to be in a space of gratitude. And that means appreciating life, breathing, being able to listen to this podcast, sunshine, being able to hear, to see, to feel, to move your body, you know, appreciate everything from the job that you go to every day. Even if you don't like your job, you are making money to provide for yourself and your family. That's something to be grateful for. If you have a warm home, if you have family, people that you get to call friends, clothes on your body, if you're in your right mind, you know, if you're emotionally healthy and mentally healthy, that is something to be grateful for. And so I want you to think through as it relates to practicing and appreciating gratitude, don't just focus on big things happening in your life, but I want you to focus on the small things that maybe sometimes you may take for granted. Okay. Number two is I want you to write your gratitude down. There is something beautiful when you put pen to paper. There's a connection that you have with your words. So every day, find at least five things that you can be grateful for. And this is what we do every single week inside the Be Free Inner Circle. Um, Every Thursday, I have the members write down and share with the community five things that they're grateful for. And I don't want them to repeat anything from the previous week. And so this challenges them to dig deep, to think about, okay, what am I really grateful for on this particular day? And so the same thing for you, write your gratitude down, maybe get a gratitude journal or a notebook, maybe type it in your notes app on your phone. But every day I want you to think through what can I be grateful for in this particular moment? Number three. And this may be a challenging one for you, but I want you to work with me here. Practice gratitude even in the challenging moments, okay? And this is where the growth comes in, where you can say, I'm grateful when that door was closed. I'm grateful for the friendship that I lost. I'm grateful for the wounds that came from this pain. Because when you can be grateful for the challenging moments, you're open to growth, you're open to healing, and it's going to strengthen you as a person. 
And again, I'm only speaking from experience. Um, 2020 has been a challenging year, but in a very beautiful way. And every time I faced a different situation, I practiced gratitude. Now, maybe not in the moment, but I can look back and say, you know what? I'm grateful that this friendship ended. I'm grateful that I stood in my power and owned my voice when I was scared. I'm grateful that I made this decision for myself and for my business. And every decision is not always an easy decision, but I'm grateful for it because I trust myself to know what's best for me. Number four, I want you to sit still and be present and reflect. This way you can take it all in, right? I know many of us, if you're like me, this time of year, you reflect and you think back over everything that has happened this year. And while you're in this reflective mode, as we prepare to close out another year, I want you to be present and I want you to sit still, quiet the noise, eliminate the distractions, and just sit in gratitude. Allow your body to feel everything from this year, right? Let the gratitude fill up your soul and honor whatever comes up for you. Number five, express your gratitude out loud. And not only maybe walking down the street and saying, I'm grateful for this, or I'm grateful for that. Also expressing it to the people that you love. Share with your friends what you're grateful for. Tell your friends that you're grateful for them, right? Tell your family you're grateful for them. Say it out loud. Get comfortable with expressing your gratitude out loud, hearing yourself say things that you appreciate about your life, and then allowing other people to be a part of that gratitude as well. And then another tip that I want you to practice is to start and end each day with gratitude. So An example of this is you can get a gratitude jar or maybe a box and you can write down something that you're grateful for when you wake up in the morning. And then by the end of the day, you can write down something else and put it in your box and put it in your jar just to get comfortable with practicing gratitude. Now that I've given you some practical ways to practice gratitude, I want to share some benefits of practicing gratitude. And these tips are coming from a Forbes article that I read that I was like, oh man, I have to share this with my listeners. So a few benefits as it relates to gratitude is number one, it opens doors to more relationships. So saying thank you for what you have and what's to come is opening you up to experience more in life, right? Opening you up to experiencing more relationships, specifically healthy relationships. Because when you have a heart and mind of gratitude, you attract that same type of energy right back to you. Number two, gratitude improves your physical health. So from according to this article, you'll have fewer aches and pains and you'll feel healthier overall. You're more likely to take better care of yourself because you have a mindset of gratitude. Number three, gratitude improves your psychological health. And I am a firm believer in this. So gratitude can help reduce negative emotions. It can increase your happiness and reduce your depression. Meaning when you focus on things that you're happy about or you focus on things that you're grateful for, you won't be focusing on the negative things about life. You'll be more optimistic. Number four, it increases your mental strength. So gratitude can help reduce stress. It can help you overcome trauma. It can foster optimism. And then also it can foster resilience because you'll realize that you, you listening, you have so much to be thankful for. So one thing that I want you to do is I want you to stop complaining, take away the limiting negative beliefs, and I want you to practice gratitude. You have simple ways to do that every day, and now you have some of the benefits from practicing gratitude. So your journal prompt for this week, I know you can guess it. I want you to make a list of 10 things that you're grateful for. I want you to share that list with me on Instagram and just tag me at Siobhan Sudbury or Be Free Project so I can see it, or you can use the hashtag Be Free Project. And then your affirmation is, 
I experience gratitude for everything I have in my life. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. You know how we do it. Please share this episode with a friend. You can text them the link. You can share it in your IG stories. And if you're feeling really fancy, I want you to leave me a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and let me know what you think of the episode. I am beyond grateful for you, for being a listener, for being a part of the community. I'm in awe of what I get to build and what I get to create. And as I'm in this reflective mode of gratitude myself, I'm so thankful for the growth of my company, the growth of my community. I'm grateful for the lives I get to touch. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be in your ears every single week. I appreciate everything and I don't take it lightly that you're choosing to be a part of my community. So thank you. And until next time, girl, be free. My name is Janetta Wolford. I am originally from Cleveland, Ohio, and have been residing in Los Angeles, California for the past 12 years. I joined the Be Free Inner Circle because I was looking for a change within myself and in my life. They are all about positivity and support. I love how Siobhan holds you accountable for your decisions. The best thing about Be Free Inner Circle that I love is women supporting women.